Welcome to this SEO writing AI review. Whether you're a content writer or maybe you're making videos for faceless YouTube before, SEO writing used to take a lot of time or if you would outsource it, it would cost a lot of money. Now you have tools like SEO writing that can write a full blog for you. I've made three websites with SEO writing with hundreds of different articles and made a bunch of videos on them, but they keep giving us more features and I wanna take all of them, break them apart and see if they're actually good. Like humanized text that they did because of the updates in Google, the new deep web plus citation tool they have, and I'll break apart all the favorite features to answer the question, is it worth it? With full transparency, I am partnering with SEO writing to make this review. However, they told me to be as honest and transparent with you and about the tool to show the pros and cons and if it's bad or good because they also love good feedback. So with that out of the way, let's get into the review. So I'm now on the inside of SEOwriting.ai and I wanna share with you my first impressions. So as I've said, I've created three blogs with them by now, and I don't believe that it works very well for news type content. For example, I made a video on AI news, and this is because it's very hard for it to be current and up to date, so that wasn't a very good niche. A second website I created was around e-bikes, where the image generation that it found was actually not finding the correct e-bike as an image. However, it did find the correct bike, so that could be useful if you're actually finding the correct image. It will find really, really good information for you besides the image generation. The third website that I made was around something I believe is a very, very good niche, and that is plants. So fruit trees and all of this landscaping business and all of these things, this is evergreen content that isn't gonna change over the next week or so because the principles are still the same and the information is already out there, how to take care of an indoor plant, for example. So I found that to be a perfect niche for this tool. So if you're making a blog or a faceless YouTube channel, think about it from that frame of does the topic that I have need absolutely up-to-date information. But another thing you might be thinking is, is this team good and can you trust the team? Are they transparent? And this is one of the absolute favorite things that I love. They have a roadmap here. As you can see, they have these feature requests where they have upvoted these feature requests by the audience and they have some planned. They have some in progress right here as well, like add Claude 3, which is an amazing feature. And they also have the completed features that they've added. And this makes me feel really good because you can transparently see where the time and effort is spent, when things kind of will get shipped compared to many other softwares where everything is blank, they don't take audience feedback and things like that. And then you can click on the what's new where they actually have a blog here of all the features that they have launched recently. This goes to show that they're continually updating their product and just keep giving value to the community. Like for example, this, which was a reaction to the Google's new update where some or most AI content wasn't actually readable, but this actually makes it very easy to read and will surpass the AI detection. As you can see, exciting news in alignment with the latest Google update. We're thrilled to unveil our update focused on content quality and context. We'll dive into this feature a little bit, but first let's dive into the first feature, which most people will be using, which is the one click blog post. As you can see, this is the page that you land on where you have to fill out all of these different tabs to get your best article. So first we need to enter a main keyword and the topic for today is going to be politics. <laughs> just plain, it's going to be religion. <laughs> I'm just trolling. Actually, the topic that we will continue on is the plants topic because it's something I'm very passionate about. I made a food forest with permaculture principles. You can check out this video on my second channel. The keyword we're gonna use is Monstera, which is one of the most popular indoor plants. And we're gonna click on generate a title. So as you can see, it will now use ChatGPT 
Monstera Plant Care, a complete guide for indoor gardener. I like that title. So let's go down to the second part here, which are the core settings. If you haven't seen this before, you can go through all of these different languages, including Norwegian, which is awesome. They have tone of voice, friendly, professional, informational, witty, casual. Let's do informational in this case. They have point of view, which I've never seen in any other content writers, which is singular person, I, me, mine, and second person, you, your, yours. Let's click on that one. Now here we can go over to the article size, which obviously ChatGPT, if you've tried to make a long article with it, it just doesn't want to. Now I like to have the article be around 2000 to 3000 words here. When I used to do YouTube automation, we would normally have them around 2000 words per video, which is about a 10 minute long video. So that's perfect right there. You can see that they've actually added Claude three here. So that's really awesome. I have connected my API key to SEO writing, which gives me more generations. So I'm actually going to use this here. Now we can click on the AI model. And these are the ones that they are using. As you can see, it's actually GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, where they use it for different styles. For example, they might do an outline with GPT 4 and then fill in the points with GPT 3.5, where it isn't as important to get super high quality. They also have Claude 3, Claude 3 Sonnet, and even Opus, the best model here. You can see the model quality here in the top as well will change, but I bet it will be a little bit more expensive if you use those models. So I'm gonna use the middle model here, GPT 3.5, and enhanced GPT 4 128K Turbo. I'm also gonna click on the enable with API keys, so it will generate my API, which you can easily set up. And then we come into the new feature. So we're gonna actually test if it's good or not after we generate. So you can see that it enhances readability and bypasses AI detection. Now, why this is important is obviously Google had a big update to their AI systems on what ranks on Google, what doesn't rank on Google. And why humanizing is very important is they found that most people enjoy reading on between a sixth to ninth grade level and they don't actually like to read super complicated words, super technical words, and this is what this tool does. So if I click here, and they actually recommend the eight to nine grade, and you can see here that they even have college or professional, extremely difficult to read. I think we're gonna go with eighth to ninth grade that is recommended here. And the last thing in this section is the target country. Let's do United States for this one. And then we jump to the next step. So they have this details to include. Now, this is something where, for example, if you want this in every single article, you can write about roofing where you can have your price, you can have your phone number, even email that you want people to send emails to. In the sample two, you can write a name of a company or organization. So for example, if you do affiliate marketing, you can send to the affiliate marketing companies that you want to go to. The third here also is about which breeds that you want, for example, as an overarching umbrella for your content, but we're gonna keep this in blank. Now, this might be my absolute favorite feature, specifically if you're gonna turn this into a faceless YouTube video, they already generate the images for you. That makes it a lot simpler, so you don't have to, for example, go into Dolly 3 and just prompt forever. It will actually just do it for you right away. So let's go to AI images. Here, number of images, let's actually, should we just pop it up to 10 to 15? Let's do 10, cause it's a round number. Image style here, I want it to be more photorealistic cause we're actually talking about plants. So I'll do photo. Image size here, I think that the quality should be fine at this with a vertical aspect ratio. Now also they have YouTube videos and this is something I really love because of customer experience, right? If they land on your page and they actually want to get value, some people want to read and scroll through, find the information, take that into their brain and that's how they learn. 
Some people are very visual and love to watch videos. So this is a way to add value to your blog and to your potential readers. Now, if you go to the next tab here, keywords to include in the text. So I want to add Monstera, but also we can click on this NLP keyword generation that I found very good. And as you can see here, Monstera Care, Monstera Propagation, Monstera Soil, and all of these different things. So it does that work for you. Now we get to the structure here where they have the first introductory hook brief. This is something that ChatGPT isn't necessarily that good at. It will just write some random introduction that isn't really that interesting. And that's why they added this feature in here. So as you can see, let's do a personal or emotional hook brief here and then go to one of my second most favorite feature is that they have all of these structure things. So conclusion at the end of the document, tables, I'll show you that in a minute, header three, yes, list, yes, italics, yes, quotes, yes, key takeaways. This is something I might want or want to have. I'll show you just for this demonstration. FAQ as well is something you might or might not want. And the bold that I'll show you makes the article look so much better. Next, they have external linking, and this automatically integrates authoritative and relevant external links into your content. And this might show Google that you are relevant, that you're linking to the best websites, which makes it easier to rank. So external linking here, you can see they have none custom or automatic. Let's click on automatic here. And actually, let's do three to four at the bottom and that should be fine. The next one is connect to web. So none will be AI trained data only. Basic web will be quickly finds from thematic sources and uses them as factual basis for writing an article. The last one, which is a pretty new feature is the deep web plus citation search. So this analyzes hundreds of the most relevant websites with statistical data to create factually accurate articles incorporating automated citations. And this is something that I don't like about, for example, ChatGPT sometimes, where it's actually taking from just one source or two sources. And then it's like, hey, this is a fact. And that might not be true, right? So we can click here on source links. Yes, citation, yes. And that is this step. I really want to see if it actually can do really good here. Now the outline editor is for your article to gain the ability to add personalized outline to your upcoming article. So if you click on this, you can actually outline it yourself with different headers and stuff like that. And if you click on magic bag, I'll just do it for the demonstration. I actually believe that it can do all of this on its own. But if you have a certain structure that you want your article to be in, I highly recommend using the outline editor here. As you can see, introducing the magnificent Monstera Deliciosa, creating the perfect admirement, watering, nourishing your Monstera, pruning and maintenance. So they basically got all of this in the article and it looks really good. But if you want to change things around, that is completely up to you. Now that I did it, I'm just going to keep it as it is. So the next one here is obviously published to WordPress. I've set it up with many different websites here. I'm going to publish directly to my plantnow.com. So you can see here, I actually just click on publish and it seems like I need to update my plugin. It's super easy. But other than that, we can click on auto tag. This is very important. I did not click on this one time and also add the first image to feature image. I highly recommend that. So it automatically pops up on a home feed, for example. And I'm also going to click on add meta description to excerpt field. And that's going to be it. So we've gone through all of the different features of the blog article, was this easy to use? Well, I think it really is. Now we're ready to get about a 3000 word article and I'm going to continue by clicking run. So I'm actually going to take the time here on exactly how long it takes. As you can see, it's already going from 2% to 6% to 9%, 25%. It's going really quick. And there you have it. That took exactly six minutes. Now let's go through the entire article. As you can see, it's around 2,900 words. And this is how it looks like. I'll just scroll through it really quickly for you to get a Oh, <laughs> that's a multi-tool for you. I'll show you how to change it in a minute if you don't actually like those images. And so far, it looks really good. And I really like that they have these reference numbers on the right. It looks more credible. 
and you can see a bunch of beautiful, beautiful images here. Now, if we go to the top, let's look at one by one, right? So here you have a beautiful image, man holding a crane that is watering this beautiful Monstera plant. Then we have the key takeaways that sometimes I like to have this in for blogs. I think it's a good idea, but for YouTube videos, you definitely wouldn't do this. And then we have the introducing the magnificent Monstera Deliciosa. As you can see, it's a video here that some of your audience is gonna be very happy to click, to watch, and then go down and get more information. Yeah, one of the things that I really like about this update is that they have these references here that makes it look a lot more credible. Let's take a look at this image as well. Beautiful image. I don't know which image generation that they're using, but it's a very high quality. So if we keep going down another video here, let's take a look at this content. So when and how to fertilize your Monstera, you can see during the spring and summer, once a month, watch out for signs of too much fertilizer like wilting leaves or yellow spots. You may need to wash out extra fertilizer or change the soil. They also have this table that says, in spring and summer, you should fertilize monthly. In fall and winter, you should reduce or stop. They even have a fertilizer type here that is really awesome to see. So here they have a really cool, I can't believe this is image generated of this plant here on a table. And here we have a multi-tool that obviously looks kind of fake. Now, this is not a limitation of SEO writing. This is a limitation of image generation as a whole. If you actually say, for example, a multi-tool, it will invent a new multi-tool with like a saw on your palm. And this is something that you have to change in editing later, but that's a con, in my opinion, of a content writer and image generators as a whole. But we only found one image to change so far, so it's still doing a really good job. Here you can see as well, a beautiful woman in her kitchen planting these stem cuttings, which also is very similar to what we're actually talking about. And I think that they give a lot of context to these images to actually make them really, really good. And then we have some troubleshooting, like picking off this leaf probably, which still looks great. I will keep that one in. And you can see here, two different images of a Monstera plant. I couldn't tell if this was AI generated or not. This one as well. I think a lot of people would really like those images. Then we have the conclusion and the FAQ. So some people will actually just jump straight down to the FAQ and then look at this con. Then we have the source links. So if anybody wants to dive deeper into it, they can obviously do that. But all in all, if you would look at this page and you wouldn't see this multi-tool, would you be pretty impressed? I know that I am because it just makes content that is relevant, it's good, the images look fantastic, and you can actually truly give value to the world, which is very important to me, on a certain topic. They're even referencing here Epic Gardening, which is one of my favorite gardening websites and resources if you haven't checked them out on YouTube. So you know that they're getting their information from the right place. Even a link to check out Top Monstera accessories on Etsy to give even more value to the audience, like they can buy all of these things. And obviously, if you wanna change those out with affiliate links, that could be a good idea as well. So now, if you want to edit, you can click on the edit tab. You'll get taken to this editor here where they have an overall score as well, where you can check the keywords. We should probably add Monstera Care, Monstera Watering, Monstera Soil. And obviously, we can go down and we can go to this multi-tool, click on it and delete. Now, there are ways to insert image, like you can click here, you can insert an image or you can upload an image. Unfortunately, there is no way to auto-generate directly in the editor. That would be an amazing feature. But for what we've all been waiting for, can we paste it into the Hemingway app and actually get a good readability grade? Yes, we actually got a grade seven, which is amazing readability for anybody that wants to read this compared to extremely technical writing that nobody really wants to read except academics and researchers. So you've seen now most of the features, the bulk article generation is literally the same. You just have to do a little bit more keywords in the top and it works almost exactly the same, but you might be wondering what is the price and still, is it worth it? So I'm on the pricing page here and as you can see, 
for free. You can get five generations, 5,000 words, one click blog post, AI powered SEO mode, WordPress auto posting, and GPT 3.5 and Claude 3. On the starter tab, you have $14 per month where you get 50 generations, unlimited words, humanized text that I showed you, which is very important for Google, bulk generation, top quality AI images. GPT-4 and Claude 3 Opus, the best models, YouTube embedding, basic web, and outline editor. And then when we jump to the professional plan, you can see we get 250 generations unlimited words, and the differences here is the external linking, which I think is also good for the backlinking and connecting you to other people on the web. They also have internal linking and brand voice. I think that sounds really cool. They have deep web, which I showed you. I really like the way they're citating it, like these auto citations as well, and the API coming soon. I really love what the team is doing. And to compare the price, when we click on up to 250 articles, you can see we can get all the way up to 5,000 articles, which is a lot more expensive. But you also have to keep in mind that they're using different AI tools API, which costs a lot of money to begin with. So a lot of this pricing comes into your article. This is built on a yearly plan where you get a 25% off build monthly you get this price and I also have a special coupon code where you can get 25% off. So if you use the Gearly and you use my coupon code as well, that is 50% off your plan. For me to ask if this is really worth it, we have to look at the framing of it. If you're using this to make a blog, to actually make money, comparing it to using, for example, a virtual assistant where you would obviously pay maybe 20 bucks for a script, which I've done many times in the past. Or if you're using it for faceless YouTube, you would also pay around $20 for one single YouTube script. If this can do a lot of the work for you, obviously it's going to be worth it. But before you make your decision, there are pros and cons. So the cons are, it's not gonna be as good on purely news-based content where you have to be up to date on the single thing that's happening right now you still have to have manual people doing that for you. A second con is the image generation. Like I talked to you about the e-bike where you get AI generated images of e-bikes that isn't the actual e-bike that it got the information from. This is obviously just the image generation problem. And if you would change out all the images, that would be a perfect fit. And that goes with every single e-commerce category from roof nests like camping to outdoor and survival. You could use like half of them to be AI generated images and half of them be actually the tools that you really want to sell or recommend to your audience. The pro are just obvious a lot of words in just four minutes of generation with the entire article and it's just a speedy process for any content creation even if you're not going to publish it it could give you an amazing outline even compared to ChatGPT, it will just not be the same because ChatGPT only writes like 700 words and then it's like hey that's good i would also put on the pro that it does generate the images for you like it would take a lot of time for you to actually do that manually. So I do put it in the pro column. And lastly, just all the sources, the citation specifically that is going through hundreds of different websites and then basis that as a foundation of truth to then write your article is just absolutely incredible. So if you see that this is the right fit for you, click the link in the description to go to seowriting.ai. Remember to use my coupon code and also please comment down below i can't wait to see what you guys are going to use this for what you think about it and also if you have some feedback for the team leave it in comments down below they're probably going to read it as well now if you want to spy on my personal life click on my instagram as well as my twitter to get updated on ai tools faster because it takes a while to get a youtube video out that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one